Good morning. So another day, a new look. I uh, put on my new e.l.f. foundation and tried out my new powder. That was a disaster. It went poof all over my face. I had to wipe most of it off. So it's kind of cakey. I need to get used to it. Use a lighter, a lighter touch. So um, nothing, nothing really new. Wearing my my uh, old vintage drop earrings, this plastic red to go with my top. Um, I did my hair up using these called uh, Wrap Snap and Go. Had them for two decades. Got them at Sally Hansen back when my girls still lived at home. They're all grown up women with families of their own now. So anyway, I use these. They look like this. The little dupes. There, There's no wire in them, but they're snaps. So you roll your hair up around these and then you snap them closed and uh, I sleep on them so they're they're soft so I can sleep on them and my hair dries I put these on wet right out of the shower and they makes really tight ringlet uh, curls so um, I just brush it out I, I don't go for the tight ringlet curls anymore at my age but if I want if I want big hair, this is what I do. So uh, I put a little spritz of hairspray, so I'm good to go. So yeah, wrap, snap, and go. You know, I don't even know if these are still available, but I'm I'm pretty sure something similar is out there in drug stores and beauty supply stores. So anyway, that's what I did to rock the new hair. It's not new hair, actually. It's old hair done today. Today's a new day. So new still applies, I guess. Oh, so I'm in a corner of my bedroom and I was um, ironing my my cruise clothes that are kind of wrinkly before I hang them up. And I thought, oh, I forgot to show my nails. These are the Shein. Hey, and I learned how to pronounce it. Shein. So anyway, these are the, the plastic fingernails I got. And I, I just put them on. They went on very easily. I had to file down... I had to file uh, them down a little bit to smooth them out because they're kind of long for my taste. Um, I'm a busy woman, so long fingernails are kind of difficult. But anyway, let's see, where's better better light? I don't really have better light. Right there. Yeah, for, for um, plastic fingernails, not bad. If they look crooked, it's because my fingers are crooked. I have arthritis, so uh, the nails were straight. My fingers are crooked, but anyway. Uh, I like them. This is this is brown color in natural light looks more of a of a kind of a burgundy brown. I don't know. I like. So so anyway, this is my ironing spot. This is me in more direct light. Scary, I know, but natural lighting, makeup and hair looks a little bit different. So anyway, this is my sewing nook my sewing corner, my crafting corner in my bedroom. It works. Good morning. I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store. I've got errands to do today. It's December 9th, I think. It's Thursday. But um, I'm trying on some new things. I tried on the She Glam. <sighs> a little bit goes a long way and I don't want to overdo it. At you know, I'm just going to the local village grocery store. I don't, I don't want to cause too much of a stir. <laughs> but um, I tried this one in the corner, just a little bit. It's really dark. This one in the middle, and a tiny bit of glitter, kind of like a um, fish scale glitter. It's, I just love it. I, I think it's pretty, and uh, it feels very festive without going overboard. So um, right now I've just got my elf my elf makeup on. I just let my hair down. Um, this is two days out from curling with snap and go. Roll snap and go. My little rollers. And um, it's just a, I guess I'm I'm rocking the Hawaiian look today. I'm feeling the vibe. I'm feeling a little tropical vibe. Even though this is pretty much every day. So, yeah, I feel pretty good. I'll, I'll get a little hairspray to hold the wispies in place, and I'm good to go. 
I've been collecting some things to have a haul for uh, my nail art station. I set up a desk in my bedroom in a corner which got, it has um, real nice natural light. So I bought this a couple days ago, uh, LA Colors Beauty Art Lounge. It's got a limited edition uh, nail dryer right here. It, it takes two AA batteries. So I'm gonna set that up and try it out. Then it comes with four little I'd call them tester shades of polish, two little sticker pads, uh, two little uh, glitter pots. Looks like one silver stars and one is uh, gold glitter and uh, one of those little tiny nail files. So that that was nice. That was uh, $9.99 on sale. The other thing that I got from LA Colors is a uh, oh, shiny and shimmer lip gloss collection. It, it c comes with 16 different shades of lip gloss and I use lip gloss every single day over the top of my lipstick or alone so this was $9.99 as well so oh they're not very big it says 0 0.04 fluid ounces so that's not very much but it's enough for for me to use for quite a while actually then I was up in uh, Oak Harbor on Whidbey Island uh, at the beginning of the week and went to Sally Beauty, Sally Hansen stuff. And this is uh, cuticle oil. I need that. It's a, quite a large bottle. I haven't used it before, but I've been using it now. And my nails are recovering from using the fake nails and the glue. This has been helping. I also uh, bought a packet of olive oil replenishing conditioner for my hair, sweet orange oil added. I've never used that before. So um, because I color my hair, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that this week. Do a couple other little things in here. Oh uh, some more nails. These are salon gel nails. You get 30 nails. They're pretty colors. I don't know if they're going to fit. I haven't tried them on yet, so we'll see how many sizes I have that are, are going to work. Then I'm, These are on sale for, it says uh, 319 reduced. What do you call these? Little selfie, little selfie stencils? I'm not really sure. I've never used them before. So I've got that one. And then this one is uh, the same thing, little stencils, but it's vinyl. And then uh, oops, some coupons. I found this in my uh, crafting supplies, double-sided tape. Um, it's a huge roll. I must have got that on Amazon a long time ago for my crafting. So I'm going to use that in my nail art endeavors. And then um, son-in-law gave this to me for my crafting a long time ago. And because my eyesight's going bad, over 65, you know. So I'm going to use this when I want to do some fine tuning of my my nail art new hobby. So it's got the little light. It's got a magnifying glass. It's actually really nifty. Sits right on top of my head and I can do close up fine detail work with that. So let's see what else have I added to my stash. I had one of these extra pale keeper, uh, pill keepers, and it's, uh, it's got 14 compartments. I've decided I'm going to use this when I start collecting more glitter and rhinestones and things for my nail art. I'm going to keep it in this because they they seal they seal real well, and as you can see, they open really easy. So I've got some some little foil. I think they're little foil mylar stars and unicorns and I don't know what else, but I'm going to play with those. So there. This is my nail art station so far. I've got some things coming from Shein, so I'll show those when they come in the mail. I think I'll, I'll um, try putting on some, some fake nails today and try to do it the way I've been learning on the YouTubes. Um, 
taking care of my nail bed. Um, first I'll use rubbing alcohol to clean the nail bed. Gets rid of any bacteria, germs, dust. I've already cleaned them, washed them, took off the old nail polish, buffed buffed the nail bed to get any residual glue from the last time I did this. So yeah. There we go. This is 70% isopropyl. So I put I put batteries in the little LA colors nail dryer. It says ready to use. So basically just press down and a fan a fan turns on. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work very well, but it's it's better than nothing. When I just try to air dry, I always get impatient or I have to go to the bathroom or something happens and I just completely ruin my manicure and smudge my polish and and so um that's that's kinda nifty. I kinda I kinda like that. I just finished putting on some stick-ons. Uh, the pros of these is I thought they were really pretty. Sparkly gemstones and a matte uh, baby blue, robin egg blue. Um, the first time I put these on, they uh, were a mess. I, used, I took the sticker tab off and used glue. That was a disaster. They didn't fit right. They bothered me. It was awful. So uh, I haven't tried them since until today. And I'm just, I, I'm considering just wearing these for one or two days until they start popping off. Because I'm, I'm a really busy housewife. Most of the time my hands are in soapy dishwater. And I know the glue tabs won't last long through that. So, anyway, the lighting's not real good in here. But they're pretty. They're pretty. They feel good. I'm going to uh, round off the square tips a little bit more. And then apply, apply a little bit of gloss to cover up the... The scratches from the filing but they're they're pretty I like them for just a couple of days and then um, they'll probably start coming off all by themselves so yeah well, today's a fun day I also got a Shein package in I've been I've been waiting for this one let's see what I got I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Huh. Alright. Let's see. I think this is a bathing suit. And this is a top. And this is supposed to be shorts. These are things for the cruise. Oh, I think. Let's see what this is. Oh, and a bralette. Oh, this is pretty. <gasps> oh, that is really pretty. I wanted something to wear under dresses for night. Um, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is a pretty mustard color. Oh, I like that. That's gorgeous. It's really, um, oh, that's pretty. That's got like, it's kind of got like a v-neck and then it's got like, like a, um, I don't know. What kind of hemline that is? Oh, and it's got ties in the back. That is cute. So this, these are shorts. And it's something to wear at the pool to pull up over my um, bathing suit. Oh, that's cute. It's got g-string, little 
tied doopy doops on the legs. It's cute. Very tropical. It's got it's got palm trees and and a gathered. It's almost like a bathing suit bottoms. Oh my gosh, I love this mustard blouse. I have to do a try on on that. Um, I don't think I can open this bathing suit without scissors. Let's see. Yeah, I've got scissors. I'll try and open this out up without um Oh, pretty color. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is Wow. Wow, wow. Okay, the, the front is really cute. It's got a tie around the neck. Then it's got these, oh, I see. It's got a clasp. There's a clasp in the back. Um, this is really pretty. God, I need, I need a bathing suit. Okay, let's see. This came with anything else. There's a. All right. Yeah. That is really. That's a nice haul. I got some things to try on. And this came in the mail today. I have really needed this when I'm doing my nails. It's called latex tape. Uh, you paint it. Let's see. Paint it around the edge of your cuticle and your nail. And then it dries. Takes takes a minute or two to dry. And then you can paint your nails or stamp and keep the mess off. And then you just peel this off with tweezers. So I'm going to try a couple of different things. I've got the, the Sheen nail guards. These. I've used these. I've used these a couple of times. They work okay. They work okay. And I'm going to keep using them. Uh, they're they're fast. They're easy. They're fast. I don't have to paint anything. I just I just put these on. I can just put them on and paint. Easy to take off. Easy. But this this I haven't used before. So by looking at YouTube and and uh, seeing how other people do it, some people just use Mod Podge. Elmer's glue or Mod Podge. Well, Mod Podge is made from Elmer's glue. And it, uh, I think this is matte. I, I always keep this on hand in my crafts. This one is, it, it's unsealed, or it's still sealed, I should say. So I have it, but uh, this is uh, 739 at my local craft store. And this was only a few dollars. This was, I'm going to say, maybe less than five dollars. I can't remember now. But that's just a little bottle. But the thing is, uh, if I have these two on hand, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to run out anytime soon. So, that's something to play with. Morning. It's December 12th. It's Sunday. It's in the morning, obviously. Otherwise, that's why I said good morning. And uh, I'm excited today. Uh, my daughter's coming over and, go and going to spend the day with us. And we're going to go over our itinerary for our cruise in the spring. It's 119 days out. So um, now it's just a matter of uh, what are we going to do? What are our excursions going to be? We're going to take notes. We're going to drink wine. We're going to enjoy each other's company. And uh, I can't wait. So I tried on my new Shein blouse. 
It's um, really big. Everything I ordered was a 4X. I wear a 2X or smaller. So this is what this is what we got going on. But I like it. I mean, it's pretty. I'll just wear it around the house or I'll wear it to the grocery store or whatever. It was difficult to iron. It's a kind of a wrinkly little dupe. Um, it's got an interesting it's got an interesting hemline. I I used to call this a handkerchief hemline, but it's a peplum. It's a peplum top. It's got a tie like I showed earlier yesterday. Um, and it's kind of, the hemline is, is asymmetrical, which is not my favorite um, fashion. I, I, I pretty much am a symmetrical kind of girl, but um, it's trendy. Asymmetrical, I think, is trendy, and I'm trying to break out of my rut. So um, I got my e.l.f. makeup going on. The press-on nails are just now getting loose, so they lasted 24 hours. I might just re apply double backed tape to keep that it's the index finger that's getting loose and um, that's the one that's got all the bling bling on it so I'll put some more tape on it and stick it back on and and see if I can rock them out another day or two so anyway yeah nothing going on with the hair today um, I tried the she glam eye shadow again I tried the purple and lavender shimmery today um, it's not it's it's not really my it's not really my thing for daytime, but I'm just playing and I've got nowhere to go, and the daughter will think it's fun. So um, yeah, today's going to be a fun day. Oh, and then I've got to edit and um, and get this thing posted.